Connecting with our breath. With the eyes closed, just finding a little bit of calm breath work before we get started. Just taking a few more deep breaths here. Good, and then opening the eyes, take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up, stretching the fingers up towards the ceiling. Start to draw the shoulders up towards the ears. So we're taking a nice stretch through the side of the ribs. And as you exhale, just pressing the hands halfway down, feel the shoulders start to draw down. Good, deep breath in, reaching up, draw those shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, pressing halfway down. So we're just starting to engage our lats here. When we press down, we want to feel our arms start to engage as well, like you're pressing something hard down underneath the hands there. Deep breath in, reach up, draw the shoulders up, take a nice stretch through the back. Exhale, pressing down. This time, bring the hands all the way down to the mat. Lovely. Two more times like this. Deep breath in, draw those shoulders right up. Exhale, pressing down, strong press through the arms. Lovely, one more time, deep breath in, draw the arms up. Exhale, press down, tension through the arms and the fingers. Good, from here, take your right hand and just take it behind your back and bring your hand around to the side of your waist. Take your other hand and clasp hold of the hand and then start to draw your head down towards the shoulder. So I've got my right hand behind me, holding on with my left hand, and then my head down towards my right shoulder. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through the side of the neck here. Just gripping hold of that hand. And then take your chin towards your shoulder. Get a nice stretch through the back of the neck here. And then exhale, release the arms and switch sides. So you're gonna take your left hand and scoop it behind your right side. Take your right hand and just take hold of the fingers and then start to draw your left ear down towards your left shoulder. And feel that nice stretch through the side of the neck. And then draw the chin down towards the left shoulder. Finding that strong connection with your chin and chest. Lovely, last breath there. Take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up and then exhale, just transferring yourself over to find your four point posture. So finding our four point posture and we're just going to move through a few of our cat and cows to set up our spine for the class. So always making sure your hips are directly over your knees and shoulders directly over your wrists. Little bend in our elbows and just start to scoop the core belly button up towards the spine. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reversing, arching through the spine, take a nice little compact in the lower back. Two more rounds. Deep breath in, scoop the belly up towards the spine. Good. And then reversing as you exhale, arching gently through the back. Take a nice stretch through the abdominals. Good. Coming up and finding that nice neutral spine now. And then take your knees a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your right hand to the center of the mat. Take a deep breath in and you're going to sweep your left arm up and open through the left side. So getting a little stretch through the front of the chest there. As you exhale, take a gentle spiral with that left arm, sweeping the left arm towards the right side. Deep breath in, open through the chest. Take that nice spiral up towards the left hand with the face, looking up to the top of the fingers. Exhale, spiral under. Using the core to move the arm. One more time, deep breath in, reaching up. And then exhale, under. Good, now you can stay with that variation for the next three. If you want to make it a bit harder, tuck your toes and lift your knees a couple of inches off the mat. So it's a lot harder up here for the next three. Deep breath in. Exhale, gentle spiral. Inhale, scooping up through the core. Exhale. Good, everybody. Last one. Deep breath in, reaching up to that top arm. Nice work. Exhale, under. Good. If you held that little box position, we're just holding it here for three two and release good release your knees down just come up onto your knees and just give your wrists a gentle roll out just to make sure our wrists are nice and warm for the class as well and then we're going to move into our second side so finding that nice position take the knees a tiny bit wider than hips and then left hand to the center of the mat 
as you take a deep breath in, sweep your right arm up, opening through your right side now. And then exhale, spiral under, following the fingers with the face. Keep the alignment nice and secure. Inhale, reaching up, move from your core, feeling the side oblique switch on. Exhale. Good. Open through the ribs as you take a deep breath in, expanding through that chest. Nice. Good. Exhale. Lovely. Now you've got the option for the next three. If you want to make it a little bit harder to tuck those toes, elevate the knees and we take it up a notch. Deep breath in. Exhale. Core. Feel your left arm engage. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. One more. Deep breath in. Nice, guys. Now we're going to hold this last position with the knees down or the knees hovering for three, two, one. And then bring your hand back down. Find your box. Keep your knees off the floor if you can. And we're just holding this position. So imagining you've got a cup of tea balancing on your back. Nice, straight spine. Core is engaged. Little bend in the elbows for three two and exhale drop the knees good just give your feet a little roll out now so we've given the wrists a little immobilization just circling the ankles lovely and then just gently making your way onto your bottom taking your hands to the back of the knees and then very slowly start to roll down one vertebrae at a time all the way down to the mat bringing your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a nice tight squeeze. So just hugging those knees in for a few deep breaths, just pulling them in towards the chest, compressing through the front of the hip flexors, good. And you can take a nice gentle little rock from left to right, just really opening through the back of the pelvis here. And then just switching your top leg. So take the other leg on top and same thing, just take a nice tight squeeze. Nice, everybody. Good. From here, we're going to take our feet up to our legs up to our 90 degree angle. So now our knees directly over our hips. And we're going to take the hands to the back of the head today. So head is rested down. Hands are in a crunch position at the back of the neck. We scoop the core in towards the spine. So think of drawing all your muscles down in towards the floor like a like when you pull the plug out of the bath, all the water runs down this drain. Think of your belly button like the drain and everything going down and in there. I'm gonna take a deep breath and we're just gonna do a little warm up for our abs and our legs here. So we're gonna inhale, we tap our left toe to the floor and then exhale, drawing it up. Good, inhale right, exhale up. Inhale left, exhale up. So just finding that nice control keeping the feet pointed if you can, elongate through the front of the ankle. Lovely, let's do two more there. Nice, now we're gonna move into a little bit of a combination. If that's enough, stay with that level, otherwise we're gonna add a little bit of an extension. So we're gonna drop our left toe to the bottom of the floor, we come up for a crunch, we extend the left leg long, we draw it up, and we bend it in. Good, and then we lower. Now we can, if you wanna stay with the singles, stay with the singles, otherwise I'll talk us through this nice and slow. So we take a deep breath and exhale, drop the right toe to the mat, crunching up, extend the right leg long, squeeze your belly in as you lift the right leg, bend it down and drop the torso. Good, left leg drops and we lift, extend, draw it tuck, Bend it down, head comes down. Very good, and right. Exhale, extend, reaching up. Bend the knee and lower. Good, left and crunch. Extend, reaching up, bend it down and lower. Last one and drop the foot and crunch. Extend, reaching up, bend the knee and lower good just take a little breather here guys if you want to draw those knees in, you can draw the knees in we're going to stay with that same combination last level 
is to hold your crunch the entire time. So we're gonna stay up in that contracted crunch position. If you know that's a bit much, just come back to the lowering or come back to the very simple toe taps. So just picking your level, take a deep breath in to prepare. If you're coming up to level three, we're coming up to that crunch position. Feel the contraction in the core. We drop the left leg down. We reach it long, exhale and bend. Right toe tap, reach long, exhale and bend. Very good and left, reach it out. Extend and bend and down, reach up. Let's do one more each side, inhale, reaching. Exhale, bend it down, inhale, reach, exhale. Good, hold it here, hold it here. Reach those arms along for the end of your mat. Reach, reach, reach. Good, squeeze the core, squeeze the core. Maybe extend the legs out, take a deep breath. And then exhale, draw the knees in. Very nice, guys. Hopefully our abs are nice and warm now. Good, just take a couple of deep breaths. Now that our abs are switched on, we're gonna come into a little bit more a, a bit more uh, advanced work for our core. So just taking a deep breath and we're gonna move into our double leg stretch. So taking an inhale, exhale, draw yourself up. Again, if it's too much up here, you can keep your upper body down and the higher your legs go, the easier. So if you want to make it harder, you drop them lower to the mat, okay? So just keep that in mind. So we're going to come up. We're just gonna set our legs up first. So just bring your hands to the back of your head, take a deep breath in and then exhale, sending the legs out long on a diagonal and then draw them in. Deep breath in, exhale, reach and in. Now remember the higher the legs, the easier. So just take your level. We're going to add the arms. So deep breath in, exhale, we reach arms and legs away from each other. We circle around and we draw the knees in. Reaching, exhale. Inhale, circle, beautiful. Exhale, reach. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Nice, good, draw that belly button in. Lovely, now we're going to reverse. So arms scoop around. Exhale, inhale, draw everything in. Good, exhale, reach. Inhale, three more, exhale. And inhale, beautiful, and exhale. And inhale, belly button to spine. Good, see if you can hold this last one here. Bring your hands to the back of your head and just start to cross your feet. Breathing for five, four, three, cross, 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 two, one, hold, 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 and hug the knees in. Very nice work, guys. Take a moment there. Just deep breath. Bring your feet to the floor and then just gently drop your knees left to right. Just windscreen wiper those knees. Very good work, guys. Just take one more deep breath, just relaxing. Nice. Okay, from here, bring, your, bring yourself, just make sure you've got space to extend the legs on the floor in front of you. Bring your hands down to the mat and then start to reach your left leg up towards the ceiling. Good, so just stretching it up towards the roof. Take your right leg and just step it about a foot distance further forward, good. From here, take your leg onto a diagonal. So it's going to be almost in line with your other leg. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, we're gonna come up to a crunch position, reaching for that foot. And then inhale, we lower. Exhale, we crunch, diagonal reach, good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, crunch. Now to make sure you're not using your neck, keep your chin away from your chest. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Contract and lift. Good, one more like that. Good, now we're going to come up and we're gonna take a twist. So we come up, we twist towards the left, feel those obliques. Back to center and lower. Inhale, lift, then we twist. Exhale and lower. Inhale and we twist. Exhale and lower. Two more up and we twist. 
center and lower. Last one, up, feel those obliques, twist, twist, twist. Center and draw the knee in towards the chest. Nicely done. Just take a nice little contraction there. Just pull that knee in towards your body. Take a few deep breaths. You can add a couple of little circles there if that feels nice for your hip. And then when you're ready, just take gently that foot down to the mat and we will switch sides. So taking that left leg a little bit further out long, we take the right leg directly up to the ceiling, lovely straight knee. And then we're going to lower it so it's in line with our other knee on that nice diagonal. Good. We reach the arms up, take a deep breath in and then exhale, we draw our core up, find that diagonal crunch and we lower. Exhale and inhale. Good. Exhale and down. And strong exhale. Keep the chin away from the chest. Good. Four more. Exhale. And down. And three. Good. Belly button to spine. Two. Good, everybody. Doing so well. And one. Now, again, add that little twist. So we come up. We twist to the right. Feel those obliques. Back to center. And down. Inhale. And we twist back to center and down and up and we twist back to center three more inhale and twist and up and down and two good work everybody last one keep those legs strong good hold it here hold it here squeeze and reach extend your left leg to tuck your right leg squeeze and reach squeeze and reach Exhale, draw the knees in. Very good, guys. Take a deep breath there. Again, you can bring the feet down to the mat. Drop your knees side to side. Windscreen wiper those knees. Beautiful work. Take a little breather. Very nice. Good. Let's just give our abs a little bit of a, a um, I was about to say a relax. They're not relaxing completely. We still have to keep them switched on. We're going to give them a little rest and move into some leg and bottom work. So bring in your hands. Just make sure you can tap the back of your heels. We're going to work with our bridge position now. So in our neutral spine, you might have a slight little gap in between, uh, between your mat and the lower back. We're going to tuck the pelvis, so we scoop our lower abdominals, draw our ribs towards our hips, hips towards our ribs, tucking that pelvis, and start to roll yourself up to find a bridge position. So hips are high, we're pushing our bottom, and in turn that pushes our hips up towards the roof. We take a deep breath here, and then lowering down one vertebrae at a time, all the way back down to the floor and release the pelvis at the bottom. We take a deep breath in, we tuck and we roll all the way back up, scooping through the abdominals, squeezing the bottom at the top, and then reverse and roll back down. Good, now our next one, we're gonna stay up here, everybody. So scooping through those lower abs, draw yourself up, finding your bridge position. And then in this position, Start to transfer your weight onto your right foot. So you're going to feel your body weight slightly shift towards the right side. If you can, elevate your left leg into a bent position. So it's a 90 degree angle with that leg. Could we tap the toe down, keep the bottom high, inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, you're going to feel your right leg, your right hamstring, two more. And exhale, inhale, exhale, hold it here, push your bottom a bit higher, bring your left leg down, good, keep your bottom high, transfer your weight onto your left leg, elevate your right leg, keep your bottom up, good, point through your right toe, deep breath in as you tap, and lift, inhale, tap, exhale, inhale, and exhale, three more, inhale, exhale, and two, exhale, and one, reach and hold, squeeze your glutes, push a bit higher, bring that right leg down, and then gently roll down one vertebrae at a time back to the floor. Very nice, guys. Here, just drop those knees side to side. 
Take a moment. We're going to come back up into your bridge in a minute. So just hug those knees into the chest. Take a little reset. Give yourself a breather. Good. Okay, coming back to that same position, ready to roll back up into our bridge. So squeezing through our lower abdominals, we tuck the pelvis, roll yourself back up to find your bridge pose. Good. Now we're going to do a few calf rises here. So I want you to try and keep your hips at the same level. Don't let them go down. Don't let it go down or up. Keep the pelvis as high as you can. Rise up onto the balls of your toes and then exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, lift, pushing up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, heels lower, but we keep our hips high. Inhale, exhale, drop the heels. We've got four more. Inhale, squeeze your bottom. Keep your pelvis high and lower. And three, and down. Good, control, hold this stabilized position. And lower, last one, hold it here, hold it here. Squeeze your bottom, push a little higher. And then drop the heels, roll yourself down. Very nice work, guys. Relax the pelvis. Squeeze those knees in towards your chest and just give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Pop those knees from side to side. Very good. Take a breather, just relaxing out through that lower spine. Very nice. Okay, we're going to move into our roll-ups, everybody, to find our way to our seated position. So send your legs out nice and long. Now, if you know you struggle with roll-ups, if your core is a little bit weaker or if you find it difficult for your back, you can have your knees bent and use your hands to walk yourself up as your option. Otherwise, if you're coming into the full roll-up, just have your legs a comfortable distance apart, reaching the arms up above the head. We take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we sit up nice and tall, strong exhale, find a tall spine. And today we're going to reach the arms up and then just send yourself forward on a diagonal. So you're not going to come forward too much. I want you to keep your back straight and finding a diagonal line. Hold it here. As you bring yourself back up to a straight back, we scoop with the arms above the head like you're being punched in the stomach. Roll down one vertebrae at a time, very slowly, all the way back down to the mat. Good, reach the arms above the head. Take a deep breath in to prepare. Strong exhale to sit up. Find that tall spine. Reach the arms above the head. Find the diagonal, slight stretch in the back of the legs. Good, bring yourself back tall and then like you're being punched in the stomach, start to curve back into your C curve as you roll down one vertebrae at a time. Oh, lovely control, everybody. Go as slow as you can. Slow and steady, good. One more like this, deep breath in. We take a strong exhale as we smoothly find our way to our tall seat. Nice, find that tall spine, reach the arms up, find your diagonal. Good, coming back up. Imagine you've been punched in the stomach as you scoop back through the core, coil back through your seat. Take your time all the way down to the floor and reach the arms back. Very nice, guys. I'm gonna give you a variation for the next few roll-ups. If that's hard enough, stay with that option. We're going to try walking up the tree. So you're going to take your left leg, lift it a few inches off the floor, about halfway, I'd say. Long straight leg, we take a deep breath in, reach the arms up, and on our exhale, we reach for our thigh, and it's like you're gliding up towards your foot. You take a tall seat, and then exactly the same motion, you've been punched in the stomach as you roll down and you drop that leg and reach the arms back. So you don't actually touch the leg. It's like an imaginary walk up. So we're gonna take this three more times. Deep breath in, lift your right leg off the floor, strong diagonal line, exhale smooth with control. Find as long as you can through the back. We lower down with control, squeeze through your core, all the way down, drop the leg. 
Good, two more times. Lifting your left leg with control. Squeeze through your lower back, lower abs. Exhale, smoothly up, gliding up that tree. Good. Exhale, scooping back. Very nice. This is your last one. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your right leg. Reaching up. Good. Tall spine. Rolling down with control. All the way down. Very nice, guys. Take a full body stretch there. Very good job. Take one deep breath. As you exhale, scoop those knees in towards your chest. Taking underneath the knees and just take a few rolling like a ball to come up and down the back. Just be mindful of your spine. Just taking a few of these to relax the back and then finding your way up to your seated position. Very nice work, guys. Good. Just take your hands onto the front of your shins. Relax your head down. Just give your upper back a chance to relax any tension in the upper back. Take a deep breath in a moment here. Just chill here for five seconds, couple of deep breaths. Nice, good. Bring yourself up and then bring in your hands behind you, fingertips facing towards your bottom. So you're in like a, a kind of like a seated position, but you're scooping back slightly. Now I want you to keep your spine in a neutral position. So we're not arching, but we're not tucking. A neutral position. Pressing into your hands, slight bend in those elbows to help support your body. And then take your toes, tips of the toes to the floor. Good. Scoop through your abdominals, push back a little bit further and see if you can just elevate your feet. Now this might be enough here in this position. Good. Now we're going to hold it here for a few deep breaths. Squeeze through your core, extend your left leg out long and then bend your left leg in. Now, as an option, you can do this on the floor. Yeah, this is a little bit of an easier version. Otherwise, doing the elevated version is obviously the hard option. So pick your level. So squeezing through your abdominals, we reach the left leg, inhale, exhale, in. Inhale, right, exhale, in. Lengthening the back of the knees, good. Squeeze the belly button to your spine, good. Inhale, and exhale, inhale. One more each side, good, and reach, and in, good. Now, if you wanna make it harder, see if you can reach those arms long beside your legs, and let's do the same thing here. Left leg, and in, right leg, and in. Inhale, exhale, good, core is engaged, shoulders down, four, and in, three, and in. In, good, two, and in, and one. Hold it here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Drop those feet down with control. Sit yourself up and then take a moment. Well done. That's a hard one. Take a breather. Very, very good job. Take a couple of breaths there, everybody. Good, just while you're breathing, I'm gonna show you the next exercise. So we're gonna come back to that same seated, tilted back position. I'll show you the easier option first. So if we're in our nice position here, you're going to take your knees over to the left and then using your obliques and core, we bring them back up to center. Take them over to the right and back to center. Now, Harder version, we're going to elevate, yeah? I want you to draw your knees together. I want you to imagine you've got like a tight rubber band wrapped around the top of your thighs so that they can't open. So you've got to engage your inner thighs and your abductors to really squeeze those knees together. So setting yourself up, imagine you've got that tight rubber band wrapped around your thighs, belly button to spine. We drop the knees over to the left. Exhale, we draw them up, good. Inhale, we drop them to the right. Exhale, up. Inhale, left. Exhale, up. Now, if you want to make it harder still, if you're feeling like this is, you can go more, just stretch the legs out. It's a bit harder when they're extended. Have a try. Watch your furniture if you've got things next to you. Good, let's do one more each side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, good, last level. Stretch those arms, twist and center. Inhale, 
exhale, center. Arms go away from the leg, exhale, inhale. Well done, guys. One more each side, keep breathing, doing so well. Last one. Good, reach, reach, reach. Drop the legs with control. Reach those arms up. And then exhale, just take a gentle forward stretch. Well done, guys. Really good work. Just breathe here. Let your head relax down. Take a few moments. If that's a bit uncomfortable for you, you can bend the knees and just take that gentle forward stretch there. Just breathe wherever you are. Very good work, guys. Hopefully our cores are super switched on now. Good, take one more breath. And we're going to transfer ourselves gently back over to our knees. We're going to do a couple of standing exercises today. So just come over to your hands and knees as a transition. Tuck your toes, walk your hands back, and then just push yourself back to find a little squat position. So in your squat position, try to send your heels down towards the floor. So you're getting a good stretch in your Achilles, the back of your ankles. So just trying to send those heels down towards the floor. Bring your hands a bit closer to your feet and then press down into your hands as you send your bottom and your hips up towards the ceiling. Just taking a gentle forward fold and then very gently rolling up through your spine, standing up nice and tall. Good, just find a nice standing position. Now you might want to bring yourself so that you can put your hand up on a wall just for a little bit of support or onto a chair or something so just make sure that you're yeah you feel supported if you've got something to put your hand on otherwise just taking your hands onto your waist feet are fist distance apart and we're going to do a few calf rises so in this position i want you to really think about your core pulling up from your lower abdominals right up to the top of the sternum shoulders pulling down lovely tall spine we press into the balls of the feet we rise up deep breath in and exhale lower the heels with control inhale press down into the toes exhale lower good inhale now as you lower the heels gently lower them down try not to clunk them down we want to lower with resistance so as we lower we're just making it down to then come straight back up pushing onto the very tips of those toes good let's do three more inhale strong calves good inhale up exhale lower with resistance good one more beautiful work guys exhale Excellent. Now this one, you might want to hold on to something. You're going to come up onto the balls of your feet, bend your knees on the balls of your feet and lifting back up and then lowering down. So we come up, hold that peak position as you bend the knees, body goes straight down. We come straight back up and we lower the heels. That's it. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, lift. Stay up as you bend the knees. Good. Coming straight back up and drop the heels. One more time. Inhale up. Bend the knees. Good. Up and lower. Okay, last little challenge for this calf exercise. You're going to come up and we're just doing little pulses. So you come down halfway up, halfway up. Halfway up, good. Inhale and exhale. Good, you're gonna really feel those calf muscles working the top part of the calves. Halfway lift for five. Good, and four. Good, three and two. Back of those legs on fire. One, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Squeeze the back of your calves. Squeeze your bottom, lift your hips, pull up through your, your core and lower. Oh, very good guys, take a calf stretch. Just taking one leg back, bend the knee, just pushing into that calf, well done. And then switching sides, very good work. All right, we're gonna do one more standing stabilizing exercise. Again, just keeping your hand where you can put it on to something for support. I'm gonna take the feet a little bit wider now and just taking your hands to the back of your head like in a crunch position. So fingers are just kind of at the 
temples, but just a tiny bit back. Now I want you to open through the front of your chest. So broad through the collarbones, draw the shoulders down, transfer your weight onto your right foot, flex through your left foot, and then you're just gonna lift it up a few inches off the floor and then exhale, draw it down. Now try to make sure nothing else is moving. So what you want to avoid doing is sending your weight to the side to lift your leg. You've got to think about everything else staying really still and just lifting and lowering. Good, inhale and exhale. Four, three, keep the flexed foot, very good. And two, nice, and one. Now hold it here. Turn your torso towards the leg and then back to center. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna feel your other leg working here. Twist, you wanna twist as far as you can. For three, good, and two, and one. Now hold it here, little pulses with that left leg. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Oh, very good. You're gonna probably feel your supporting leg more than the leg that was lifting. Just come into another stretch. If you feel, if you felt any pain in your lower back, think about tucking your pelvis more. So generally, it means you are arching your back. So if that's that, if your lower back starts to hurt, tuck your pelvis, and that will help alleviate any strain in your lower back when we do the second side. Okay, so let's set ourselves up for the second side, bringing the hands to the back of the head, broadening through the collarbone, pulling up through the core, tuck the pelvis slightly. Good, take your weight over to your left side, lifting up, inhale, nothing else moves, control, good. Lift and down, and we lift. Good, keep that core engaged. If I came and touched your belly right now, you'd be really, really strong, like a piece of wood across your core. Nothing else moves, good. For four, exhale. Three, exhale. Two, exhale. And one, exhale, very nice. Now hold it up, we twist and center, inhale and exhale, inhale, twist, exhale, good, three more twists, exhale, good, and two, exhale, one, hold it here, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, very good job, guys, come back to center, release the arms, Give those calves a stretch, well done. You're gonna have sore calf muscles tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Good, just give them a nice stretch out. Lovely guys. Okay, bring yourself to the end of your mat. We're gonna do a roll down into our plank now. So a nice transition. So just keeping your legs a nice, almost mat distance apart, nice wide stance. Draw the shoulders down, bring your chin to your chest. As you exhale, we're gonna roll all the way down, finding your body hanging over your legs and then bend your knees if you need to, keep them straight if you can and start to walk yourself out, nice and slowly walking yourself out to your plank pose. Now, if you need to drop the knees, immediately drop the knees, otherwise we're holding our plank, tucking our pelvis, bottom is down, Press down through your hands. And we're gonna hold it here for a few deep breaths. So really think about scooping belly button to spine. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your hands. Bottom is down. Take one more deep breath there. And then exhale, drop your right knee, drop your left knee. Well done. Bring your bottom down to your heels and stretch your torso forward. Just relaxing the back, take your child's pose, take a deep breath here, just relaxing the torso down. 
nicely done guys coming back up to our four point we're going to move into a little bit of final leg work now if you find uh it's too much pressure on your wrists you can come down onto your forearms and do the exercises down here this is a little bit more supportive for the wrist try and stay up because it's a bit more core activation up here so i want you to take your hands a little bit wider than usual so right to the edge of the mat today fingertips facing forward and then bring your right knee to the center of the mat and good you're going to send your left leg up behind you find your 90 degree angle as you inhale bring your left knee to tap your left elbow and then exhale send it back inhale tap your left elbow exhale send it back now if you can't tap it don't worry just going in that direction good now keep a bend in those elbows brace through your chest deep breath in exhale back two more times inhale exhale keep gazing down towards the mat keep the back of the neck square Good, now you're going to bring your knee underneath your chest towards your nose and back towards your nose, but don't move your body. Everything else stays still. Good, inhale, exhale, squeeze through your core, draw it in, back one more that direction. Nice, now you're gonna take your left knee to your right elbow. So go across your body and back. Now this one is hard. You might only cross a tiny bit across without anything else moving and that is absolutely fine. Just go towards your right elbow, exhale back. Two more times, deep breath in, exhale back. Good, inhale, exhale back. Now hold it here. Either hold this position and just consolidate this nice strong position. If you want to make it a bit harder, tuck your right toe and lift your right knee. And we hold for three, for two, for one. Good. Drop the knee. Bring your left knee down. Send your bottom back. Well done. Take a breath there. Good. Take one more deep breath there before we come to our second side. Just relaxing the bottom, relax the chest. And then when you're ready, just making yourself come back up, find your hands nice and wide, little bend in those elbows, and then bringing your left knee to the center of the mat, reach your right leg up behind you. And we're gonna come right knee to right elbow. Inhale, tap it down, exhale, lift. Inhale, very controlled movement through that hip. So although this is leg and upper body work, this is also hip rotation. So just take it gently. Deep breaths. Good, three more. Try to keep everything else super still and stabilized. Good, two. Now we're gonna come forward towards the nose but not moving anything else. Scoop under the chest exhale good little bend in those elbows exhale inhale scoop exhale inhale scoop exhale two more there deep breath exhale and one good across your left elbow take that awkward twist Ugh, that's it Feel the obliques, twist across and up. Good, four more, doing so well guys. Every time you bring that knee in, it's like a reverse crunch. Good, last two. Good, last one. Good, now hold and consolidate that position nice and strong or tuck your toes of your left foot, lift your left knee for three, for two, for one, bring the knees down, take your child's pose, well done. Take your deep breath here. Very nice work guys. One more little breath. 
And then last little bit of leg work, just come up and over onto your side, just coming down onto your either side, because we're gonna do both sides, just coming down onto your forearm today. So we're not gonna lie all the way down. I want you to keep up on your forearm and keep a nice watchful eye over your side area. So I don't want any slouching. Keep pushing up here, reach that top arm directly up towards the ceiling, come with your knees into a bent position and you're going to push down into your underneath arm and just come up into like a half little plank pose, yeah? So it's a variation of like a side plank, a, a very easier variation. So as we come up, we're gonna lift our top leg into our elevated clam and then exhale, we lower. Now, as we lower, don't let yourself sink down. If the extended knee is a bit too tricky, just coming up is absolutely fine. So just picking your option. As we take a deep breath in, we exhale, we open the top knee, we squeeze the glutes and we lower. Inhale, we lift, we squeeze the glutes. Good, exhale, lower. Three more, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, inhale, squeeze. Good. Now this next one you're going to hold up here. Either hold it here or with the knee extended, bring your top arm over, try to tap the floor, and then exhale, lift. Inhale, head comes down, try to tap the floor. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale for two, good, and last one. Now hold it here, last little challenge. Stretch your top leg and we're gonna do three here. Inhale, reach, exhale, inhale, two. Exhale, hips are high, last one. Reaching up, reaching up, reaching up. Drop that leg down and just sit yourself up into your mermaid position, well done. Take a stretch away, so bring that left arm up and over. Taking one deep breath there. Nice, and then just gently roll yourself around to find your second side. Very good, guys. So just finding elbow under shoulder for that nice supported side area, making sure we're not slouching down, pulling up through those side obliques shoulder directly over the elbow, reaching the left arm up. And then remember, you can just bring your hips off the floor or come into that lifted knee. So pick your option. So inhale as we come up, we open the knee and lowering down with control. Inhale. Very nice work, guys. Beautiful. We have four more. Inhale. Exhale, lower. We squeeze the glutes at the top for three. And down. Good. Two. Very nice work. And we hold up here. We reach the arm over, try and tap the floor. And then reaching it up. Look down towards the mat. Keep the pelvis high. Reaching up. Pelvis is high. Two more times, deep breath in, exhale, inhale. Now we have that little last challenge if you want to extend that top leg and we reach over, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Last one and exhale, reach, reach, reach and bring yourself down. Very nice guys, just push yourself up. Take your left hand down, reach that right arm up and over. Take that nice stretch through the right side body. Good, one more little breath there. Excellent, and then just circle yourself around. We're gonna come into a final little forearm plank before we move into our stretches. Beautiful work today, guys. So forearm plank, you've got a few options. You can stay down on your knees and take, um, a, we're gonna come prepare it from the floor. So just come down onto your belly, but keeping your knees on the floor is a bit of an easier option. So if you're feeling fatigued, um, just keep your knees down. So when I say pull up, you're just gonna lift your 
uh, pelvis off the floor and keep your knees down here. That's fine, that's your first option. Otherwise, we're going to tuck the toes, take your basket grip with your hands, press your forearms and elbows into the mat, head is long and in line with the neck, and then start to scoop your belly up towards your spine. Tuck your hips towards your ribs, and then pressing into the toes, take a deep breath in, exhale, pull your belly button into your spine and tuck your pelvis and push up to your forearm plank. So this is a strong position for our core and our upper body. Good, holding it here. Bring your feet to touch and then drop your heels to the right side. Either stay here or maybe lift that left arm off the floor, finding your forearm, one arm plank. We hold for a deep breath, smoothly bring that arm back down, interlace the fingers, turn yourself back onto your normal forearm plank, toes to touch and then drop your heels to the other side. Maybe lift your right arm off the mat, breathe and hold. And exhale to center, back to your forearm plank. Last little challenge. We're gonna move our body forward and back. So knees can be down or knees can be up. We have 10. Inhale forward, exhale back. So this is like elevator, but on the floor. So you go straight up and straight down. Straight up, straight down. Four, five, and exhale. Four, and exhale. Three, and exhale, two, exhale, one, good. If you can, push yourself up to your full plank and then push yourself back, find your triangle stretch. Well done, guys, very good job. Just finding a comfortable uh, downward facing dog. So if you wanna bend your knees, bend your knees. The aim of this pose right now is just to get a good stretch in the back of those legs. So take a few deep breaths, relax the hamstrings, strong through the upper body. Good, okay, everybody bend your knees generously and then step your right leg forward, drop your left knee to the mat and we're just going to take a nice little lunge here. So you can keep that back toe tucked for support. You can also hang on to something or untuck that toe and just start to push a bit deeper down through the back of the pelvis. Good, now wherever you are, we're gonna reach the arms out to the side and then start to twist your arms towards the left side. So you're opening your chest towards the back leg. That's it, twist, twist, twist. Exhale, center, gently twist the other direction. Exhale, center. Bring your hands down and just hold that stretch for a few deep breaths. Very nice, guys. Just let your pelvis really melt down to the floor here. And then from this position, tuck your back toes, bend through your front knee a bit more, lift your back leg, and then just step your back leg forward and then start to gently stretch through both legs. So you might be right up here. That's absolutely fine trying to get our hands to the mat. You can bend your knees if you need. And then on every exhale, this is a very strong stretch for the back of those hamstrings, especially your front leg. So just take your deep breaths, try to relax. Feel your head nice and heavy, drawing that chest down. Good, just take one more deep breath, relaxing the muscles. Very gently bend both knees, bring your back knee back to the floor and then pivot your back foot underneath you so you turn to the side. That's it, so you're coming up, you've got your right leg out to the side now. Stretch your right leg out nice and long. You can turn it parallel or keep it out like this. Opening the arms out nice and long, we're just gonna take a stretch over that top leg. So right hand down, reaching that left arm over so you feel a lovely stretch through the side of your left side there. Take one more breath, looking up towards that top arm, release the neck. And then using the core, just draw your body up. And then very smoothly bring your left hand down 
and then reaching the other direction. Again, you feel that nice stretch from the tips of your right fingers all the way down to your right foot. Exhale, bring yourself back up. Lovely, and then just gently walk that knee in, turn yourself to the other side and bring your left leg forward and just moving into your runner's lunge on the left side. So just settling in to start, just pushing your weight forward over that front leg, over that front knee, good. Remember if you need to hang on to something, just make sure you've got your hands so you can take a bit of pressure off your knee and you can keep that back toe tucked. We're gonna bring our chest up, we open our arms out to the side and then we're going to twist towards our right. So our right hand is reaching back towards that back foot, open the chest, back to centre, twist away, so cross towards the other side and center and then gently drop the, the hands down good relax through the back of the pelvis gently tuck your back toe start to straighten through your back leg slightly bring your back leg in and then sending both heels and feet down to the floor remember you can keep the knees bent here you can take your hand up onto something whatever you need to do we're stretching the hamstrings particularly the front hamstring there's two more deep breaths there. Very good work, everyone. Exhale, gently bend yourself down. Bring your right knee back to the floor. Take your right leg underneath you. Transfer yourself over to the side. Extend that left leg forward to the side. Now remember, you can keep it parallel or turned down. Arms reaching long. Take a lovely stretch over to the side, big side stretch, looking up to that top arm. Exhale, using your core to draw you up and then bring your right hand smoothly down to the floor. Left arm reaches over, nice long stretch from the tips of your left fingers to your left foot. Good, and gently circle yourself around, bend both knees, and we'll do a nice slow roll up to finish. Beautiful work, guys. So just coming into your squat position, like we did earlier, taking the back of your heels, and then bring your body down, send your bottom up, and very slowly restack your spine to a tall standing position, one vertebrae at a time, Good, as you reach the top, feel your feet pressing into the mat. You've got an imaginary piece of string, pulling that head up, shoulders down. Take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up. And then exhale, pressing down. Beautiful work, guys, well done. Excellent work, everybody.